So what's the plan for tonight? We're gonna do something scary. We're gonna watch whatever's on channel 62. Does anybody else smell cheesecake? It's everywhere! <laughs> hey, wake up man, it's starting. Well, here we are in the good old 20th century. Why are we watching this? Can we just watch that zombie movie? Riddle me this, fat man! These two had too much tequila last night. Ha! Ah, my chauffeur! Ah! My grandmother! Camelot! Camelot! It's only a model. How do you do, sir? Stop looking I'm, at me! Uh, Dr. Armstrong. Oh, excuse me, Doctor. Uh, I thought this was a childhood. It seems we're sharing a bathroom. Oh, I... I didn't know. Let's use it together! Do you think they're done? Damn enough of them! Ow! Ten-second rule! Yeah. You knew it was an island. Huh, with only one house. Makes me nervous. Here! Take some of my nervousness in there with you. What they don't know won't hurt them. Monday, Tuesday, happy days. Uh, hysteria induced by shock. I had the same thing after watching Thor 2. Uh, give it a sedative. Ten drops and half a glass of water. But this is a go-gurt. Yes, sir. I'll summarize our findings. Four. Well, you all know, I see no reason to conceal any longer. I am the I'm Lindbergh baby. Off. I'm retired. By whom? This man Owen. A year ago. Two people in the road. I was driving fast, fast, fast. What happened? My mom took away my Xbox. They took my license away. What about the two people? I ran over them. Speaks with bad luck. And now, the I ran over two people love sonnet. What are you looking at, Roger? Darth Vader on a pony. It's what do you true. think I'm looking at? Does anyone want some licorice? I just found some under the couch. You're kidding, right? Sure. I should have guessed that would happen. I'm looking for Darth Vader on a pony. Have you guys seen him? No? No touching. 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 we just watch that zombie movie? This movie's giving me a headache. No, because someone forgot to pay our cable bill. Yeah, well, that guy sucks. Previously, unlost. So, they're still on the island? I was really hoping they would have escaped during the break and a better movie came on instead. Cat! Now we'll see if they always land on their feet. General Mandrake! Please be dead. Yes, Juliet? Damn! What about breakfast? Do you mind if I sit down like this? Why not? I'm wearing my panda costume. I don't think a man would ever kill his wife. Even on the O.C.? No matter how guilty she was. Someone has baggage. Someone say something. This is awkward. The wicked flee when no man does you it. We've all come to the same opinion. I borrowed my hair cut from an Oompa Loompa. Place of concealment immediately. Well, it looks like the Death Star plans are not in the computer. What's next? Nit, nit, nit. Don't think for yourself. Don't think for yourself. It's pretty obvious she is planning each one of those guys' death in her mind. How do you know? I'm doing the exact same thing with you guys right now. A job. Oh, sorry, I'm on my Bluetooth. Oh. You say the general was behaving very strangely. The like general man, was behaving way, very strangely. Why, the old boy's balmy. He's not invisible. He's a shrinky dink. Mr. Owen could only come to this island in one way. It's perfectly clear. Pee Wee's bike. Mr. Owen is one of us. One of us. One of us. Eight of us. Came to this island. But only six of you were human? The other two Roger, were robots? Wait, don't forget, Please? For Something? Us. Seven little Indians left. Six. One is bogus. Bogus! bogus. I'm too good to drink with you people. But I will because I'm civilized. In a case like this, a secret vote is the only way to bring out into the open what we're all thinking. I was thinking, Ah! Somebody find a boat! I'm not going to argue with you. I'm going to agree with you. But what makes you think I would kill anybody who wasn't going to leave me any money? <laughs> Blind rage. Pac-Man game gone wrong. Oh, thank you. Shoes the wrong size. Wait, what? Sleepy 
sleeping with an axe under your pillow. That's safe. Make sure to say your prayers. You'll need them. Teletubbies are evil. I once saw a Teletubby beat up a clown. Oh no, you did not. I sure did. I can tell you when and where to prove it. Oh, it was classified. And with that, it's 8 o'clock. Holiday from rules? I don't know. You tell me. Hey guys, check out the green lines. I think it's the Matrix. Excuse me for interrupting, boys and girls, but... No problem, random like boys from the vast void like of darkness. No rules. The way you play. It's a a rule Bite me, narrator! That hamster is like a cupcake in a fat barn. Don't make eye contact. Don't make eye contact. Oh, must be a male tree. Oops, looks like we're gonna need another Jimmy. Jimmy's suffering from what we in the medical profession like to call death. Oh, well, now he's a zombie. I should probably tell you this isn't covered under your medical plan. What was that? That was not Miracle on 34th Street. I don't know what it was. The only good thing is it's over now. Harry's lesson known, cousin. This is a story about a whale. Mitchell. On 35th Street, the zombie apocalypse rages on. Why are all these people chasing me? Man in the front apartment. Who likes to just hang out with little girls and watch parades? Dinner's at 3 o'clock. Dinner is at 3 o'clock? Here, Santa has created his own holiday-themed prison. Okay, Prancer, here's our chance! Whether you agree with me or not, I'll have to ask you to respect my wishes. My plan is working perfectly. I hope so, too. Bye! Next Memorial Home for Aged. Next of kin, Donna Blitzen Prancer. And dancer. So you're an old guy who lives at the retirement home with a bunch of reindeer? I don't see a problem here. Next. The store that puts public service ahead of profits. Therefore, making more profits. Of course, we'll make more profits. <laughs> he stole my idea. How much is three times five? Seriously? You That's your first four? question? I'm conducting this examination. How much is three times five? <laughs> What sort of games do you play, Susan? Whoa! Too much for the children. They play silly games. They do. Like World of Warcraft or Dwarf Lord: The Conquest. All of the children were animals. Well, you know the British nation and the French nation. Well, this is imagination. Like Narnia? Or be the Statue of Liberty. Wow! That sounds like fun. Mom! Well, you ready? Oh no, you don't. I don't allow strangers to touch my lamp. All my life I've wondered, and now I'm going to find out. I'm going to learn the answer to the question that's troubled the world for centuries. Why was Stargate on for so many seasons? Sometimes I think things are a bit too immature around here. What is she looking at? There's a flamingo fight in the corner. That makes sense. Long, glorious summer. The end. Santa, it's... Do you like that story? Damn! I can't have got to go to school. School is for losers. Yes, but this is what they call a required function. State standardized testing? Oh, no, Susan, this is evil. Of school request your presence. Over one billion served. How's the food? So wait, they committed him for hitting someone with his cane, but they let him keep his cane? Hello, Fred. You flunked that psychiatrist examination deliberately, didn't you? Eat my chicken, Gandalf! Why? Ben? Ben Kenobi? Fred. Here we are as close as two people can possibly be, and yet there's a loneliness about it. A deep, dark, made-for-TV loneliness. I tried my best. Dear Santa, Today I was so hungry I ate my own cat.
They found Jimmy Hoffa! In which bag? All of them. You turn off the parkway at Seymour, drive three blocks, then turn on to Ashley Drive. Wait, that's an IHOP! Right. What are you pulling? Got it. Oh, no. Chris left his king here. He knows where we live. Oh no! Hey, so we're all set for tonight. Okay, explain this to me again because you were kind of confusing over the phone. Okay, so my friend Jennifer, she's always talking about this awesome boyfriend that she has, so I kind of, well, I made one up. Come again? I made one up about six months ago that, so that when she talks about her boyfriend, I can compete. Oh look, the TV's going on. It's too early to be home. The Armed Forces Special Weapons Project presents The Kardashians! They had medicine back when this movie was made? Neither mysterious nor inescapable. Ha ha ha, that beach ball almost hit her in the... Whoa! Coolest beach ball ever. ...is 24,000 years. Run for it, Marty! Okay, stick your tongue in there, Jim. Yes, it's a nuclear winter wonderland. The first and obvious one is, be someplace else when it happens. Yep. Distance lends considerable enchantment... Jeepers! I guess Japan should have thought of that little rule, huh? That prompt bombardment of a high aerial burst is severe but short lived. Since it is carried up into the stratosphere. Where it can do no harm. It's safe to go into the area under the explosion about two minutes after it occurs. Because if you're that close, you're screwed anyway. The fallacy of devoting 85. Pac Man was worried, but then he died. <laughs> Charming boyfriend. What? Oh, looks like the movie's coming on. Movie? What movie? This movie is the universal answer to everything. The orchestra clearly thought they were playing for a better logo. This logo was better when it had a little airplane flying around it in circles. Hmm, I wonder how much that dog is. The one with the straggly tail? Let me throw out of here. It's a little game I play. Watch for my signal from Dr. Tobel's window. The bat signal? Did he just yell croissant and spit at them on his way out? I guess he has a thing against croissants. Croissants? So they are in France. Calm yourself, my dear Brun. In a short time, there will be only one language. The language of laugh between you and I. What are you doing? Signaling the Nazis. Something less stupid than leaving a fire burning on my desk? I'm sorry. I can tell you that much. For four months, every move I have made has been watched. Wait, what? Uh, slow down. Croissant! St. Peter? Why are you... Oh, crap. I'm sending this toy plane to pick up Stefan and Eric. Will they be surprised? We're passing over Dover now. Can I at least get some peanuts? Oh, worst airline ever. Holmes's previous failed attempts at escape. This is a disappointing time to be alive, my dear Watson. Darn near nothing has been invented. Sherlock Holmes, I want to speak to Sir Reginald Bailey, please. Uh, he told Reginald me if you Bailey. called, he was in a meeting. Is that the fellow who played Rugger for Blackheath? Yes, Watson. Oh. Let me be How more condescending. Holmes speaking. Yes, from Baker Street. I have Dr. Tobel with me. If you want to see him alive, leave oh, 500 you. pounds under Big Ben. Very well, then I'll meet you in half an hour. Wait, I didn't say... There's a little girl behind that door who doesn't speak but just stares at him. I'm leaving. Women. So easy to fool with stick figures. <laughs> we also know that he could not have been concealed in the room, as there's no concealment possible in a room at any time. Also, the room is part of our imagination. Watson! Stop playing the piano! Check, up, huh? Check the records and trace a call made on my private telephone at Baker Street at approximately 12 o'clock... Seven years ago. ...on the night of Dr. Tobel's arrival in London. Finally stumped, eh, Sir Reginald? Yes, Lestrade? And where would you like me to send these Partridge family VHS tapes? Charlotte. Charlotte. Abelie. Abelie. 34. 34. St. George's Street. St. George's Street. Flat B. Flat B. 
Excellent, Lestrade. Got it. Thank you. You're welcome. Wait, could the murderer have not been in the house when the police arrived? And they'd be like they snuck out the back. Look, there hasn't been a murder. It hasn't happened yet. There's no murder. There is about to be, but it hasn't happened yet. Oh, so you've seen this movie before. I wasn't talking about the movie. I only got one glimpse of the note while he was preparing it. Previously, on Secret Weapon. He was seated at this desk. Sheathing a tablecloth. No, he was sitting on the couch when he wrote the message, but he sealed the envelope here. In a solution of fluorescent salts, dry it, and then photograph it by ultraviolet light. He's still talking after all that time? This fortress, built by nature for herself. Wants us to move. What <sighs> happened to you? So thirsty. Oh, okay. The TV just turned on by itself. Okay. So what do you think this movie's about? Oh, probably airport terrorism. What do you think it's about? Duke, this is Sammy. Sammy, Duke. Hey, Dan, your girlfriend is in this movie. You got us mixed up with two other guys. <laughs> just like most people get me mixed up with that other annoying creep. <laughs> So, which one of them is more difficult to understand? Tough call. <laughs> Are you seriously, genuinely laughing? Um, no. It's like he's a dying cat in heat. Every time he tells a joke, an angel loses its wings. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> Courtesy laugh, ladies and gentlemen. When did Ralph Mouth get to the island? It stinks! <laughs> this is clearly a bunch of white guys in costumes provided by a life cereal box. There are literally four signs of the apocalypse going on at the same time right now. I only count three. Oh, never mind. I haven't seen this awkward of staging since Marie Osmond tried to demonstrate dropping it like it's hot. That's, Boy, look at that moon. That's no moon. It's time to feed Vol now. Yeah, but it's so much bigger and brighter out here. Here we are. The sacrifice tent. Thanks for seeing me home. That's the custom of the island. No kidding. I, I never, never kid about, about customs. customs. Well, there's a switch. What other customs do you have? Good night. Wait a minute. Oh, I just remembered. I'm a date rapist. <laughs> well, we better go. Matlock comes on at nine. Until tomorrow? Well, if it was on 42nd and Broadway, we'd be standing in front of the automatic. Dressed as Gumby and Pokey. A cup of coffee right now. How can someone accidentally fall out of a plane? And why were they wearing a parachute? Those are your main questions right now? Seriously? Please? I'm lost. And scared. This looks like Death not only took a holiday, but he got a hangover from taking it. I heard that. She has two men with her. Ooh, I hope White it's Adam men. West and Burt Ward. This will not help our company Who basketball team. I not know, Master. Well, you're fired. Come on, Dougie, let's go. Well, I know you from someplace. I don't think so. Unless you've seen the return of Shandu, perhaps. And I'm not Bella Lagosi. What's the matter with you? You're just asking that now? Oh. <laughs> Chula. Kill the little one with a spoon. Yes, master. Take this man to my room. Don't let yes, them master. eat my skittles. Because I would do anything for you in my power. Except bet on the Padres. Entering poop flinging range in three, two, one. <laughs> for the love of God, let me out! I haven't eaten for days, and he Good makes boy. me watch the Bob Newhart show. Oh, I'm performing a series of experiments in evolution. Evolution? What's evolution? The opposite Science of you. Has proven that all living things originated in a process of evolution. Then Q tricks Captain Picard into creating a static warp shell. Changes. Well, Ramona? Bite me! <laughs> <laughs> Colonel Mustard here has an announcement. And don't forget... <laughs> I see you to the door. You are going to kill that kid, right? Is there any other choice? Nope. What do you want? What? Ramona? 
Are you trying to seduce me? <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty cute, you know? You'll never make it out of here alive! Okay, first the sister know? wants him and now Ramona. Are all these people crazy? Two. Skipper, like I think there are other people on the island. Waste. In all of eternity, I have never found a better staring contest partner than you, bottle of alcohol. Sammy's tired, Sammy's tired. How does he know if I'm tired? Well, we're all tired of you. You won't defeat me this time, bottle. And then Matthew Broderick leaves him in the forest. The end. Take her back in her cage. And then come back here. The real world is coming up. Ramona's the key master. Does that make Sammy the gatekeeper? I wish I didn't have to wear that frog suit to the prom. Cheesecake monsters, leave me alone. I need to water the candles. No, you can't have my refrigerator. I need it to breathe. Okay, coast is clear. Come on. Come on! I don't know about this. It's okay, they're all in Las Vegas anyway. Did you bring the Umbra's glue? Yes! And birthday candles, too. But I don't feel very comfortable about this. Oh, shut up. Come on. Remember the time when Dan convinced you that banks would give you a discount if you walked in wearing a ski mask? The least you could do is play a little practical joke. The Film Library presents The Death of Fonzie. Why do we have to buy bum records anyway? Measure of a man, huh? Whatever it is, I bet it's an exaggeration. Ard's bowling calf. Good times. I have nothing against those boys, but I've heard stories about their reputation. I hear they play Dungeons and Dragons. If you're going out with their kind, you should be able to control the circumstances. So that's Duke's car? Why are they driving it? And who would paint their name on the outside of their car? The only person that comes to mind is Chad Michael Murray. Hey, there she is now. Guess the others haven't come yet. She's coming this way. Just act natural. My mom buys my underwear too tight. Dude! I never knew that Minnesota was full of iron ore. I always thought they had funny accents, and they always produced inadequate baseball teams. Did you just watch the same movie we just did? You know what happens when I don't exercise? I don't get injured. Sure we knew the whole bigoted bunch of us. Why do I hang out at the bigot club in the first Read place? The headlines, forget the small print. The old boy could always use a good basketball find on his team. And Johnny was a find, all right. I'd seen him play here many times. I decided to go undercover as a hobo. Hi, fella. Hi, creepy man in my locker room. So maybe you're down here slumming, Mr. Faraday, but I don't know how to thank you. Then don't. Well, thank you. He said not to. Right, sorry. Thank you. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Grace. <laughs> sure thing, kid. Where'd you look for the back end? The kind of polish that would make his style more pleasing to the eye. The kind of style that only comes from reshooting a scene from Birdemic. Yeah, pleasing to the eye. Hehehe, <laughs> pretty girl, you pretty. Want to play spin the seagull? Don't worry, Pat. There's nothing disreputable about small bets. The large ones are made on Wall Street. Only there, they don't call it gambling. They call it well, bailouts. Of whitewashing bookmaking. See you later. But I'm hungry. Well, you go ahead and eat. We'll be over the course and finish. I didn't know your girlfriend was such a whiner. Here, Johnny reenacts Marilyn Monroe's last photo shoot. Oh, please no. To what? The giant brownie my mom is going to bake us tonight. Your hair smells like garlic. I guess she really likes brownies? Could it last, Johnny? Could it? As long as you'd want it to. Well, technically, brownies only really last a few days before they start to get hard and crusty. To me? Yeah, you were great. And I had a bit of... You suck, Johnny! <laughs> thanks for the vote of confidence. Any thanks around here come from me. That's just meant, Johnny. You, let me in on something, you suck. And I never let a favor go unrewarded. Show Pat a good time. You both deserve it. Uh, we broke up because of my obsession with George Takai. Thanks very much, but why well, I couldn't. Ah, see, child, please! See, child, please! Woo, 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 whoa, that's what I'm talking about. Woo! Yeah! Live here, camp here, rent here, stay here, live here. Woo! <laughs> yeah! Take it and burn! Oh!
Cosmo used to look totally different. Who am I and what do I want? All right, let's go. Wait a minute. Trying to figure out when the moon is going to square Neptune. How'd you make out? With my tongue. The usual first reaction, scruple and dignity. It was a little sloppy, oh, yeah. but the kids got he talent. Johnny, why do you get these magazines in black wrappers all the time? You suck, Johnny! You're a whore, Johnny. Hi, Johnny. Sit down. Thanks. <laughs> that never gets old. Why do you smell like vodka? Why do you smell like a hooker? How do you know what a hooker smells like? I hate you. You're the devil. I want a divorce. You're not going to divorce me because I'm going to divorce you. Maybe its name is Zontar. Hi, Zontar. I'm Dan. Are you lost? Where is your home? Our home is here. Where is your home? Great. He's talking with the robot. That's just great. Oh, and look, the TV turned on by itself, too. That's just great. American International! <laughs> it never gets old. Are they trying to imply this movie comes from heaven? I had the same computer back in 1983. It's a giant pogo ball. Yes! <laughs> this is an 8-track tape machine. Bask in its glory. It's a powerful looking set. It's untranslatable into any known Earth language. It would sound something like Zontar. Or exactly like Zontar. But it's impossible to translate. Hello? Are you that moron who owns the synthesizer and thinks he's speaking to aliens? Yes, this is Kurt. Someone stole all your pudding. What? Well, that's impossible. That's what she said. All right, I'll be right over. And nothing wrong at the installation, is there? It's gone. What's gone? My pudding! Boy. I'll get your coat. Wanna go make out? Okay. Good night, Keith. Good night, Kurt. Good night, Phil. Seeing you like this reminds me of the time I spent in prison. I know, dear. Hey, guys, when I flip this switch, the blue light blinks. Check it out. <laughs> this is Richie. Acknowledge. You're not Richie. Richie's blue. You're white. I receive you. Okay, now it's a soda can wearing a sombrero. What am I worried about? I'm not paying for it. The director of this film's motto. Yes, Mr. Secretary. Are you wearing your Spider-Man underoos? Yes, sir. I need you to buffer my Wookiee. Yes, sir. <laughs> It'll be done. <laughs> what? Okay, now it's a donut with a Christmas tree ornament inside. Here's the problem. It's a Chrysler. Every guy in me always leaves me in the oh, swamp. The clock's up, too. The hotline's dead, General. Here's the problem. You ripped out the inner Rossiter. Careful, General. There's a half million volts in it. Okay, we need a computer the size of a Volkswagen, but this satellite? carries half a million volts. My husband is in an iron lung. Stop. What shall I do? Did she just read a telegram? Coming around the bend, it's Silver Lining, followed by Nougat Center, followed by Santa's Little Helper. And don't forget, today's race is brought to you by Wyatt's Food Store. Wyatt's Food Store. We're inexplicably only open in the evenings. This is awfully nice, Mr. General. What's the name of that Star Trek episode they ripped us off from? Yeah, All of them. Yeah. How come your Jeep is running? Help me. Creatures they controlled on Venus became sterile and died out. Like Senator Dole. Ouch! Without uh, control creatures, Zontar's dominant race slowly withered away. Believe me, we know what we're doing. We are using a rocket ship to beam an alien from Venus and take over the mind of a general and... Okay, we don't have any idea what we're doing. 
If Star Trek has told us anything, they've told us what is going to happen to her. Yes, he's coming over here later. Yeah, look, I think this joke has gone too far. I'm just Bobby from the auto shop. Yes, if it must be done, but is it imperative? Can't we wait a while? What is it? Darth Vader on a pony? What? Hey there, kids! I'm Wiley the oh. Wily Robot! The You're standing in my Bobby shot! Talk. I hate your living guts for what you've done to my husband and my world. I know you for the coward you really are. Did they just get this from my prom night? The gripping, switching cars scene. She is literally dressed as a classic Star Trek red shirt now. Yep, you don't see many of these nowadays. Oh, we're, we're looking like something's coming in now. What, what do you usually watch on this thing anyways? Um, whatever's on Channel 62, I guess. Channel 62? Like, I thought that burned down like, uh, six years ago. Don't drop your pants in front of your boss. I think the movie is drunk. The credits are making me ill. So, the same as always? No. I mean literally seasick. And I figured I was ready for promotion to more important work. Like guy who doesn't get it. manure thrown on him every Honest, day. Mr. Wiley, it was a rotten company. I didn't do anything. Why me? How much time do we you have? Said that in 18 months you hadn't gotten anywhere. And That's you know right. I don't work. Other here, fellows right? who started later were promoted right over my head. Actually, I probably do know better than you do. I've been spying on you for months. As long as times are good. There'll be jobs for fellows who just barely do enough to get by. And it's America, so times will but to keep always a job be good. When the going gets rough. We should get jobs. Hey, genius, I have a job. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. A job? I knew a guy who had a job once, but ten years later he got eaten by a bear. No, wait. That wasn't a job he had. It was rabies. This movie is the universal answer to everything. Deja vu. It's as if this music thinks it's playing for a better movie. Deja vu! Universal presence? Is that like a towel? The woman in green. They do know this is a black and white movie, right? Be seated, won't you? Good if you wish to know what table men you are, read any of the works of popular fiction. And you haven't turned in one clue. You haven't given me one lead. Well, you shouldn't have us in a meeting all day long. Sit and wait for news of a fourth victim. Well, I put my pride in my pocket and went to see the man who so often helped out Inspector Lestrade and myself in the past. John Oliver. Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Oh. Let's switch all the tags around. Much about the age of my sister's girl. We call her Isn't old nine fingers. This, Mr. Holmes? <laughs> That's so horrible. Away <laughs> somehow. Let's make that chandelier fall on them. Sir George Fenwick, isn't he? Yes. That is daughter with him. Don't be so naive, Inspector. It's my daughter. You know everyone, don't you, darling? Well, hardly. One of these two is the oh, woman God, in green. You? you make the call. You're a treasure, Crandon. Remember, ma'am, the pellet with the poison is in the vessel with the pestle. My boob pom poms are off kilter. My boob pom poms are fine. The one thing these unfortunate victims have in common that might give us a motive for these murders. This that paper says sorry. motives well, for murder. I can picture her sitting here happily writing this letter. And I'm not bit realizing that she's shortly going to end death. Watson, now's not the time for one of your Hello? fantasies. She came in through the bathroom window. What did I tell you? No Beatles songs. I might also deduce that she is not wearing anything under her clothes. Are you wearing green? If not, we can't see you. The game is certainly afoot. I, I had a foot once. No way, that was an apple. You guys don't know anything about Sherlock Holmes, do you? You're just saying catchphrases, aren't you? Well, aren't you? Yeah, kind of. Little, yeah. yeah. Well, hmm. Meanwhile, in the haunted mansion... Where's my father, Norris? He's still in the library, miss. Been playing Zelda all day. Can come with me, please? Thank you. 
I got your message, Mr. Holmes. Yes, indeed. But why did you bring the ice cream cones? What's the password? Dad, may I come in? Um, j just a minute. J just hiding yeah. another body. That's funny. But not ha-ha funny, apparently. It doesn't answer. Just a minute, I said. Please do. Thank you. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. Come along no, with me. No, no, no. Take charge, Miss Fennick, please. 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 Come along with me. And she was never seen again. Yes, but the effort he made after he was shot to get hold of this match folder. The good news is we can set it on fire with itself! Yes. Bite me, loser boy! Hey! Once the accusation is made, the name is smeared... And Wolf Blitzer gets involved and someone is completely covered in jelly. Well, I haven't used that bag since I bought little Amelia what's her name in the world. In fact, she's still in this bag. An attractive child. Oh, it's the guy with the hat who was upset. Who? The guy walking... Never mind. I have no idea who any of these people are, to be honest. I'm just suggesting that you find some female friends. Well, then it's a good thing that everyone is coming with me to my dance class today. We are? Monkey ball! Jeez. You know, my class, it starts in 40 minutes. You might miss the end. Who cares about the end? Iron Country. The birthplace of the frying. Does anyone else wonder if this is going to be a Nazi propaganda film? Kurt Rambis has been excluded for time. This is State Fair Time, Minnesota State Fair Time, and the high point of the year for most of it. Aw, that's so and sad. Folks, and many of the attractions at the fair cause them to think about the things that take place in the state in which they live. They're thinking about moving. Here Here's Joe Williams. Hi, Hi Joe. Joe. Joe Jr. and little Betsy. I never want They're to go to Minnesota. People are naturally interested in the Iron Range, what goes on up there. The most boring lunchtime the conversation Many of the questions are ever. The of what somebody told somebody else. All the questions have answers. And all the answers, answers have the questions. Of understanding of what's going on up there on the range today to make the industry bigger than ever. Can we but go back to the fair now? now? I want to live again. <laughs> How about that? You sit here, Mr. Williams. We're going to take the children over to the uh, Midway for a while. Thank heavens I got away. I never thought I would. Great ore. There wouldn't be any great future in Minnesota iron mining. But they are out to keep the Minnesota iron range in business. A bigger and better business than we've ever thought of. Have they forgot for that there's a freaking fair outside? I wonder how things are going at the dance club. Now, imagine that you have balloons hanging from your fingertips and they can float all of your worries and insecurities away. You have got to be kidding me. Well, at least I still have you, monkey bone. Well, so far it's better than House of Fear. It's like we're in a lounge from the show Dragnet. Okay, we're here. It sounds like it's going to be an old burlesque movie, but there's no way that's going to happen, right? That is not what this is, right? Can we go back to the Minnesota State Fair, please? I think she just got mad at you. It's not about dancing. It's more about having a seizure while standing up. Are these Mortal Kombat moves? XXYL1! It's like this movie represents the way a man thinks a woman dances. This is like taking burlesque and focusing on costume changes and design. Sort of like Star Wars focusing on Senate hearings. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris. It's a homeless pimp! Hi, folks. My name is Dave Starr. Hi, Hi Dave. Dave. Is that coat made out of feathers? I was locked up in a room with a thousand beautiful blondes. Here comes a girl now! Here comes a girl now! Yeah, that's not happening. Shameless self-promotion. You'd think she would have a manager or something tell her not to dance under any circumstances. Vicky Lynn looks like an alien whose face was caught in a taffy machine. 
Okay, this is a man. That's a first. A woman getting rid of jewelry. Guys, I think that's a man. Her bangs are all weird, too. It's as if she holds them up to her face. Okay, guys, that is a man. Have you ever heard of the boy who cried wolf? So, if she were a man, where could she be hiding her junk? Stop it! What? I, I meant like an old Nintendo GameCube or a high school math book. Jeez. Oh, please, no. No! Oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. This is the worst moment of my life. If she starts to ask why we're so serious, I'm leaving. Um, miss? You don't really... you don't need to... oh lord. I love how that chair just blends into the curtain. No capes! Hey, why aren't you guys saying anything? What? Uh, Nothing. I, 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 no reason. Men. I don't know what the movie's gonna be, but I took care of food. I ordered pizza. Nobody's gonna believe this. <laughs> it was kind of a special order. I'm not talking about the order. It'll be uh, $275.89. Destroy All Planets, the surprising sequel to The Book Thief. I call no Shatner imitations. It's like a bumblebee orgy. Ha! I'm Gamma! I'm sure he'll never eat a colony of live ants again. He's over there by the ant farm. Damn it! I wonder what this giant red button that says do not push does. My watch says buy more Ovaltine. What the hell? No supper tonight. In Japanese, no supper tonight must be hilarious. I'm going to say that next time I see anyone from Japan. Let's go. Quick! The children who are late for work have to work in the shoe factory! Alright. Now let's proceed. As if this were going really well. Gamera has two moods. Grumpy and grumpier. Damn, this pizza's pretty good. Isn't it? Where'd you say you got it from again? So... Now it's a snow turtle? Previously on Gamera. Oh no! Gamera is attacking the model village. Dan. You ordered pizza from Arizona? Mm. Oh, imagine how good it would be if it wasn't a day old. Anything going on here today that won't make me sick? This reminds me of the time I dressed as a dinosaur and went to a frozen yogurt shop. The kids loved me until they found out I wasn't hired by the yogurt shop, and then the cops came. Scottsdale, Arizona? You're fired. So, Gamera spits fire. I don't think the rhino puppy... Steve! Right, I don't think Steve has any special powers. Gamera, I've been thinking. Maybe we should just grab a couple of beers and let this all blow over. What do you say? Gamera, chop! Coronado Bridge? No! Well, fine! Be that way! Fight to the death, then! Imagine how many alligator skin boots you can make out of Steve. Okay, so who's this guy? Ted. And you're basing that on... His name is Ted. And where is Ted from? New Jersey. Okay, then. The Ted from New Jersey sketch, ladies and gentlemen. Quick! Block Gamera with a banana! 
all I've got is an upside down question mark. Those things don't block anything for no logical reason. You're screwed. This is much more interesting when college co-eds do this. Shut up! Am I wrong? Random Sunshot. Enjoy. I've got your toes. I think Pink Floyd hired Ted during the 70s for their live shows. When was the last time you washed your feet? This is disgusting. Nothing like a relaxing milk bath. Oh yeah. That's it. Hits the spot. Maybe we should name these monsters so we can keep track of who they are. Where have you been? Oh, were we already doing that? I was reading the nutritional label on this bottle of Amp Energy Drink. For the last 30 minutes? It's from Poland. I don't think turtles really sound like that. It sounds like a car crash. It sounds like an elephant. It sounds like an elephant in a car crash. Yep, sure. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. yeah, uh -huh. you got it. Haha! Yeah. -ha! That was the funniest thing ever. Hey guys, did you know that they're playing a Gamera movie on Channel 62? Sometimes I think you're just waiting outside for proper entrance. Ladies and gentlemen. The story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. Hello? Your name must be Dan. We've had several reports about you. Really? Cool! We need to ask you a few questions. Oh, okay. Oh, it's gonna have to wait. The movie's starting. Doesn't this show star Ed O'Neill? Ladies and gentlemen, the story you are about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. So it's not entirely true. No! Going down. <laughs> I've got these pictures of Spider-Man. New photographer took them. What do you say to a man with a bomb? Why do you have a bomb? Please don't set off that bomb. We don't let him out, you say you'll pull the trigger on that bomb. What are you going to prove about that? That my bomb works, Take obviously. Time. This might be Batman. Hold on a second. Fred ate 36 donuts. He did? Should we take him to the hospital? Yeah. He thinks he's Richard Simmons. No, stay there. I'll call you. Who was that? Quick, Frank. Let me see that cup of coffee. <laughs> this is going to be hilarious. It's pretty narrow, Joe. It's a good 18 inches. Could be done. That's what no, she no. said. Too risky. Joe, should we be smoking near a bomb? Guy wants to talk to his brother. So he's falling for it, huh? Send somebody over. What? This if he's minute. falling for it, say 5801. 5801. Excellent. Now make sure you don't hang up the dictaphone, even though I have no idea why this is part of the plan. You built a bomb, bearing the name Brutal Bob the Beanie Baby, to botch Biggo's ban on bags. But the blue barn was barred, busting up your brilliant blueprint. Is that about right? Yes, sir. And now I'm bored. Deja vu. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm not wearing pants. The story you're about to see is true. Didn't he tell us that the last time? have been changed to protect the innocent. It was Monday, April 17th. We were working the day watch out of forgery detail. My partner's Frank Smith. The boss is Captain Welch. My name's Friday. I was lost. Dear Facebook, Why can't you know? wait for you to be invented. Hi, her description's still the same, about 50 years old, kind of plump, nice face. A few minor changes. Last year she had gray hair, dressed very plain. This, this year, year she had plain hair, hair and dressed, dressed very gray. She was a nice, charming little lady, about 55 or 60. Small, dark hair, graying, dark eyes. Dead nice inside, clerk, wearing a pentagram. Yeah. Do you have one of those circulars that we sent out on this woman? Well, I'm ashamed to say it, Sergeant, but I have. Hanging right back there in the storeroom. You see, I'm an idiot. If she continued to work by the same timetable she'd been using for the last nine years, she wouldn't start operations again until the 1st of October. 1st of October. She started again. Oh, this is all wrong. Wait, you're a man? Frank, your gun is showing. What? No, I really mean your gun is showing. Oh. Mr. Montrose, this is my partner Frank Smith. My name's Friday. We're from Forgery Detail. Oh, you're cops. Right? Yes, oh, 
Vicky. <laughs> Who are your friends? Well, that's Jennifer. Hi. And that's uh, Sergeant Friday and Officer Gannon. <laughs> Wasn't he 713 last time? The story you're about to see is done. The names have been changed to protect the innocent. And now for something completely not exciting. Like other great cities, it is home to all kinds of schools where you can get most any kind of education. Did he say gray cities? Frank and I decided to drop by and talk to Mrs. Face before we met Mr. Hovick at his home. We regretted it. Just a minute. One minute. I bet there's a real crime happening someplace. Yes. What is it? Hello. I'm insane. What do you think? It's the bird lady from Mary Poppins. Well, we're police officers. How long have we been partners? A long time. A long time, sure. And you still haven't noticed, have you? Notice what? Ear mites, Joe. Ear mites. They're everywhere. If they get stuck, it's almost impossible to get them out. Is that so? Now take an apartment like this one. What about it? Ear mites, Joe. Ear mites. You haven't been listening to a word I've said. You know this Mary Walker pretty well, do you? She's one of our best customers. One of your best customers? Don, 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 Don. Well, you can wait here if you want. It's just a regular day around here. Apparently I have to child-proof the house. Pete's glued to the chair for some unexplained reason. And uh, no one knows where Dan is. Try a new haircut, they said. I was like, thank you. Is this the Kathy Griffin story? Unfortunately, I don't think so. Wait, wood plastics? From the Department of Ironic Names. I think it's wood plastics and ink. If they get dropped into a chemical vat, I'm leaving. You ain't seeing the wizard. No way, no how. What do you want, Melody? And that's why you don't touch anything in a mad scientist lab. He's gonna die. Um, then why isn't the movie called Dick Tracy Almost Met Gruesome, But He Died? Oil can. Oil can. <laughs> Wanna take a guess at what's eating him? Yes, I could guess, but it wouldn't mean anything. Well, you're fired. Yeah, I think it's a case for homicide. Oh, Hayden Panisieria. That's dirty, yeah. No. Uh. Okay, at this point, that guy deserves to be killed. Just come here. Don't you see what's happening here? Well, Pete's glued to the chair. No, Vicky is pregnant. Pregnant? No. Think about it. Jeff's child-proofing the house. She wants us here for some big announcement. Dan likes babies, and she's calling from a mysterious appointment to say that she's late. Well, when you put it like that... Oh, good! We're finally going to see Dick Tracy meet Gruesome. Or not. So, at some point, Dick Tracy is going to meet Gruesome, right? I mean, it's the title of the movie. Who farted? I thought I thought a putty cat. Melody should really change his name to Dumbass. Just going straight at it, huh? I thought I'd be direct. Only you can prevent forest fires. He disappeared. Isn't Comic Con this well, weekend? He might he be there. This and hasn't been seen since. Did they steal that Why head from Indiana Jones? Jones? I thought she reported his absence to you. Do you know what each of these bottles contains? Nope. I know they're chemical symbols, if that's what you mean. Not exactly. Anything in it that will hurt me if I taste it? Soy sauce. I think not, but I can't be too sure. Let's see. This guy is a total idiot. I would say not tasting it's unknown good. liquids in a lab is Many a good idea. Well, let's take a look around inside. Maybe we'll get a line on something. Guys, I think Dick Tracy is actually about to meet Gruesome. No! Norm! The Heads Up 7-Up Championship will be mine! How can you people be talking about this while Vicky is pregnant? Vicky's pregnant? Wait, you mean she's not? No? What gave you that idea? Hey! Get 
don't you see him walking here? I just realized that even though we came awfully close, Dick Tracy has still not met Gruesome yet. Man, the tiger hit that wall at full speed. Sheer Khan? No. Just what I thought. Hey, this man is dead. Matter? This man is running a dangerously high temperature. You better send for the doctor. Not me, buddy. My orders are to stay right here. And make sure he doesn't leave. Why is my character name Obvious Victim? I can't. I can't go through with it. I said the same thing about getting a Costco card. I can't go online to him. I... Now, look as natural as possible. So, I guess we're dedicated to stretching these scene out as long as possible. Don Knotts could have found this guy by now. Now let's just look around for a little bit. I regret nothing. I won't help blacken the character of a decent man. I can't. So everyone realizes she's going to be killed, right? Yep, pretty much. I guess the only question is why she doesn't know it yet. Is that what you want, Emma? I can't believe they thought I was pregnant. It kind of makes sense. You have to admit that you are kind of moody sometimes. What? They're going to have a 70s airplane disaster movie on tonight. <laughs> Wyatt's coming over dressed up as Darth Vader and everything. Uh-oh. Collegiate football jersey font. They mean business. Whoa, they're starring in alphabetical order? You got your passport? He's going to need a layover for his comb hey, over. Donald, I've been already since your father. He should rest in peace, died. She's backwards speaking Yoda better than is. Los Angeles, uh, Montreal. Man, they, they are flying through these credits. Is that an airplane joke? No, I mean, they are winging past. Okay, okay, stop. That was out of the blue. I may have to kill you. Are, are you saying my jokes are terminal? When you're on top, you can rape Whistler's mother and Macy's window at high noon and get away with it. Wait, you can rape Whistler's mother and Macy's window at high noon and get away with it? <laughs> what? His agent had that analogy on deck for this occasion. That is totally insane. In his defense, Whistler's mother is kind of hot. Like, doily bonnet sex. It's gonna make you look so tense. I'm perfectly alright. Would you like some straight up, sexy, Betty White style loving? I hurt too, Ray. Uh, I, I, I sat on a nail file. I bite. I've had my shots. This is about to get weird. Can I get you anything? Not right now. Not even a better role? Looking forward to your last trip as a working girl? Looking forward to your first lawsuit? Small wedding, a house, and some kids. So what do you think happens in this movie? Just a guess, but I think someone will get murdered on Flight 502. Must. Kill. Sonny Bono. It's my life mission. He's right there. What are the chances? My heavens, Sonny frickin' Bono. We have to get off this plane right now. Keep your voice down. So how do I look? Like a sleazy pervert. Bonus! <laughs> okay, so now that we're in the middle of the movie, I'll tell you guys my secret plan. I ordered a 70s Lincoln. We are proud to present the color-changing plane. Red on the ground, blue during takeoff. Good thing I was already wearing the suit at the restaurant. Sure, they all laughed then. Ah! That's worse than a bomb! That's way worse than a bomb. No child wants to play with a Charlie in the box, so I had to come here to the island of misfit B actors! <laughs> Sit down, Yes, sir. Miller, all practical jokes is dumb. Some are dumber than others. But some are downright dangerous, and people can get badly hurt by them. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Not really. No, sir. Are we in a spaceship? Oh, it's here! 
My 70s Lincoln is here. Woo! Say, did somebody order a Florida president? have insurance, don't you? Do I thank you? No, just stay quiet. Although I will have to demand you pay your $10 copay at this time. Yeah, well, um, the beat goes on. Wait, you can just say the beat goes on at any point in a conversation? Your presumptive diagnosis seems to be correct, miss. He's indeed having a heart attack. I was right about something! This is his first cardiac episode. The beat goes on? God didn't take her from us. He did. did we miss some backstory? It's all over. There's nothing you can do about it. Like hell, I can't. I can post embarrassing pictures of him on Facebook. The Lord knows there's millions of them. Well, I met a girl and then flew away on my big, big blue or red plane. And there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing you can do on my plane that's red or blue. My plane that's red or blue